Nick Iannotti here with Casual Furniture Solutions and another video to try to help you repair your AKZ umbrella. So um, a lot of times what happens is the cord breaks on the inside. Uh, what we're going to be doing uh, on this video is the, uh, the crank side cord replacement. So you know there's basically there's two cords in this umbrella. One that goes from the crank handle up and then straight down and gets tied off right here on the uh, on the main grip and then there's another rope that's the crank side then the deployment cord or the open cord um, starts right here at this uh, little tooth area and it goes up through this hub here and then through the you know through the main frame of the umbrella and then comes down and ties into your um, it's called the runner um, so what we're going to be focusing on is the crank side cord right now. So you'll notice the crank side cord if you turn your handle and this grip doesn't go up the pole. Um, nothing happens. So that's going to be your crank side cord. So to get started, you're going to want to take these two bolts out that hold the umbrella, the main mast, to the, uh, to the rotating hub down below here. And uh, so you're going to want to take those out. lift your umbrella off the base and then lay it I always do everything on the on the ground here so uh, just lift your umbrella up And then you're going to take these two little screws out on the side here. There's one on either side. And that just holds the cap on. And there's also a uh, pulley right on the inside, so just keep an eye out for that in case it falls or falls out. There's the one side. Second side, same bolt. Now on this model, they have a couple different ways they have these little screw holes attached. So we're gonna open that up. You can see the pulley. Here's the rope, the crank side cord that goes through that. That's broke. So we took the uh, the cap off. Now we're gonna work on the uh, on the crank handle here. Um, so you're gonna want to undo the. The, the crank with this little Allen wrench. Then there's two screws here that you take out, and then there's going to be two screws underneath that hold the crank mechanism in place on the inside of the pole. All right, so now we're going to take these two out. might want to do this on a uh, either a tarp or a blanket just so you don't lose screws in the grass which I have done. all right now that those screws are out this is the crank mechanism in here we're gonna slide that up to the top and have to do one step and just use gravity to do that so you just pull that up caught on this little pin here where it's basically this one has a bar uh, they have two different types they have little cups that are welded in if you have those cups welded in you're gonna have to drill them out and then you can either put a screw in there and big enough to, to hold it in place honestly it really will hold you know the pressure of the the rope 
is going to pull the pulley down so you really don't technically need one but it's always good to have it in there or you can use a rivet so i'm going to get a uh, on this one in particular i'm going to use a hammer with a screwdriver just to push that pin through right out. So now what you're going to do is get into the crank mechanism so you can take the old rope off and put the new one on. hard to find. Okay, now that that's, the two screws are off, you can open this up. Try not to touch anything, it's all pretty greasy in there. What I like to do is cut the cord a little bit closer to the crank mechanism. so you don't have to pull so much cord through it. And then I like to use the needle nose pliers to pull these through. Get your new cord. Unravel that. And then what I do is go through it in the front through the front side you got to pull the rope all the way through there but that's okay and then I usually tie it you know a double knot Give it a little twist and pull it through. I'll get a close up of the knot. So I start with that, wrap it around one time, and come around again, and then stick it through the back. That usually holds these pretty well. And then just pull that through. Make sure it gets nice and snug down in there so you can put everything back together and then the tops ready to go back on okay. and then just tighten these screws up be dropping this back down the tube. All right, so that's tightened back up. So now you have the cord coming out the top. You want to put this face up to where the crank would be, and then just slide that in there. 
let gravity help you out. Keep an eye out down there and see if just to line that up. And once you get it down there far enough, you can set that back down, keep the cord in your hand, and then kind of pull it up a little bit until you see that come back into place. Take your screwdriver, just line everything back up right there, and then just start screwing those back into place. So you start with the smaller ones first, just to secure that crank assembly. screws back in. And then finally put the crank back on. Now we still have the broken rope. We've got the good rope cord. And then we're going to want to put the end of this through the pulley. Pull that through for now. And then we're going to want to also push this pin back in. And again, sometimes you guys have had to drill out, uh, there's little cups in here that hold the screws. And uh, you'll have to drill those out and either put a screw back into it, rivet it, or just use the tension from the pulley. So we're gonna put the cap back on. We still have the cord, it's still out here now. Get your two screws. Tighten those down and then we're gonna set it up on the uh, back up on the base. Right, there's one. There's the second. And then let's lift it up on the base. So far is right here. Here's, we still need to attach it to the other one, uh, to the end, which is the cord lock. So what we need to do is take this hub apart. And when you do that, um, you always wanna take the, the side, it's gonna be, if you're facing behind it, you wanna take the side that the bolts or the nuts come off of it. Because if you um, 
take the side with the bolts that are going through it, you're gonna lose all your pulleys that are on the inside. So let's start with this one. So all again, wanna leave the, pull, the bolts in there and just take the nuts off. All right, again, leave the bolts in there or else you're gonna have a big mess. Now, come on this side here. So we're gonna take this side off. Just be careful, go slowly. See all the pulleys that are on the inside here? That's what you don't wanna have the bolts come out and, and get taken off. So you gotta kinda work this, this is the cord block and this is where the, uh, the crank side cord ends. So you need to work that out a little bit, which can be tricky because it wants to stay in there and it's all tight. So you just pop that loose, make sure all your bolts are still in there. And then really just take, this is the cord lock. So you're gonna to wanna to have it wrapped down. There's a little groot channel in there. So you want it wrapped around and then come up through the bottom. There is gonna be extra on here and we'll cut that off in a minute. So again, you wanna make sure that rope stays in that channel. Get it seated in there. And then just leave this as is right now. We're gonna put this uh, grip back together. Make sure you line all the holes up. because we just tied that off on the uh, on the crank handle so there's no loose cord in there. Then you're just gonna wanna knot it up again. Again, I do a loop and I give it one twist on top and then go right through. And then get it as close as you can to the grip. I don't need to redo that one. tight and then you don't even have to tighten it too much because you can just crank it up and it will tighten it for you and you have a working actually you'll have extra right here so just cut it off and this is where you can cut off the uh, excess cord working crank side cord.